Well, Briarton and Jansen lead them around under the green flag this time. Well, Jansen and Briarton race even into turn number three. Jansen up the bank, and oh, Briarton around in front of the field, turn four. Himself deep in the field with a lot of work to do. Well, it is the 06 of Jerry Jansen leading lap number one. He'll lead Taylor and Powers back to green. Well, Bo Taylor racing around the inside of Jerry Jansen to take over the top spot. Some uh, fender defender racing off turn number four. What is the 97 of Terry Houston racing into the number two spot? Three wide battle for the third spot. Abe Holes, Powers, and Jensen. Oh, trouble right in the middle of one and two. The zero of Powers gets turned around right in the center of turns one and two. Well, the 2T of Bo Taylor will lead the field back to green. Well, Jim Lentz dives to the inside of Jansen to make it a three-wide battle for the fourth position. Well, continues to be Bo Taylor showing the way. Terry Houston, Abe Holes. Now the 566 of Lynch. Trouble turn four. The 47 of Savage around turn number four. 30 of Abe Holes and the 566 of Jim Lynch back to the green this time in turn number four. Well, Lynch honking the horn at Abe Holes down in the middle of turns three and four. Well, the troubles continue for Brandon Savage. Get around and off the exit of turn number four. Well, he'll get the wheels cranking and bring her back onto the speedway. Meanwhile, it Bo Taylor continues to show the way, followed by Holes and Jim Lynch. And the cross flags and the flag stand represent the halfway mark to the drivers. Well, Bo Taylor still able to hold off the hard charge of Abe Holes for the top spot. Trouble Troy Briarton around in turn four. He'll keep the motor cranking. We'll stay clean and green. Well, Bo Taylor enjoying as much breathing room as he's had in a while. Opening up to about four car lengths over Abe Holes for the lead. We'll be working lap number 13, this time by only five to go.
Falls drive right to the Taylor back bumper in the center of three and four, but Taylor able to motor away down the back stretch. Oh, trouble, the 79 of Briarton around turn two. And caution flag quickly in the air. Ready to go next, followed by the uh, Wild Things to round out the action on the card with us here tonight. Meanwhile, the 2T of Bo Taylor brings us back under green. Well, Jim Lynch will take a look outside of holes for the number two spot. Terry Houston's going to take it upstairs as Holes with a fender to the inside of Taylor down in turn one. And Abe Holes with a great runoff turn four. Taylor by a nose holds the advantage. White flag set to fly next time. Well, Abe Holes works his way inside a Taylor Fender defender off turn four. It's going to be Holes winning the race back to the white flag. And Taylor slips just a bit off turn number two. Holes driving away from the field here on the final lap. Checkered flag and air. Abe Holes, Bo Taylor, Jim Lynch, and Jake Powers. Congratulations on your victory tonight. Definitely wasn't an easy one. You and Bo Taylor battled side by side for many, many laps. You finally got the lead, and you're our midseason championship. How's it feel? It feels pretty good to win on midseason championship night. We had a good crowd out here tonight, and I got to give props to Bo there. Uh, he kind of slipped up just a little bit, and I kind of made my move, and uh, that was all I needed to take the victory tonight. You know, there's such a tight point battle in the stock cars right now. Are you mainly running for wins or for points? Or what, what's your mindset on coming to Quincy Raceways and racing? Well, so Test two. Up until we had the rain out last week, uh, it was just going to be for, for wins because I had a scheduled vacation. But uh, we ended up missing a rain out. So you never know what's going to happen towards the end of the year, especially with a tight battle with the top three here. It, uh, it should be an interesting and fun half the rest of the season. All right, there we have it. Abe Holes, your feature winner tonight in the stock car division. We're going to sneak down here, grab a, a word with Bo Taylor. Bo, congratulations on your second place finish tonight. Definitely not the one that you wanted to get second to, but hey, you finished, you'll take it, and I thought it was a great race. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take that. Anytime you race against Abe, he can go anywhere in the state of Iowa and run in the top three. So not the finish I was looking for, but we'll take it. So. All right, congratulations on your second place finish. And we're going to sneak over here and talk to Jumpin' Jim Lynch. Jim, congratulations on your third place finish tonight. Not much you can do about it. All three of you guys were pretty dominant. I just felt like there was nowhere to go for you. No, it was just it was one of them deals. Bo was just a little bit off the bottom. Abe was on the bottom, and I wiggled him a couple times. He just didn't move, so... We'll take third. I believe going into tonight, I, I just looked at my phone. I could be very wrong. You are the points leader going in until tonight. Unofficially, I don't know where they stand, um, but I know they're behind you with four points. What is What does that mean to you to run um, at Quincy Raceway, somewhere where you didn't really run and then you started to come run? Are you running for wins or are you running for points? No, I'm running for points. If, if I was running for wins, I could have got a lot rougher right there, and I didn't. You all seen it. I was in that left rear many a times, and I didn't. I'm here for points and to put on a show. I think we've done it two weeks in a row now. So. All right, always in good spirit. Congratulations, Jim Lynch, on your third-place finish tonight, and we'll see you next week.